Welcome back, everyone. Red the Ranger with you. Ready is here. Path of Exile. Well, the next race event starts in 30 minutes. We're not doing that, but it's nice to know. Eh, how about that? Uh, anyway, we uh, I've done a few little things off camera. I actually found a short bow off of our vendor friend, so I purchased that because that's a slight upgrade. And what I'm going to do is actually change it from a normal item. Oh, I can't, it can't be equipped, that's right. To a magic item. Frosted short bow of needling. Actually, that's pretty cool. Cold damage, increased crit strike damage, you're darn right. Uh, and I can increase the quality. Let's, do I want to do that? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's make it a little bit better, right? 2% quality. Haha, <laughs> I don't know what that actually does. But it's better now. And then we're going to put our fire trap and our burning arrow back into it. And off we go. Look at that. Look at that. Smexy. All right. We're going to go ahead and hop on back. We're going to get on our waypoint. Remember, we got to go clear the fetid pool. That's where we're at. Mm -hmm. There's something up top there. All right. We are on our way. Let's see what we can find here. I don't know what that was, but I just splattered it. I like this bow a lot. Ah, look at that. There's an arrow stuck in the tree where I missed. How about that? I wonder how long it'll stay. Stop dying, you big... Or stop goofing up. There we go. Lots of scrolls down here. I'm a big fan of that. Whoa! Ow! Big old bird right there. Whoa, whoa. I'm poisoned or something. I don't like that. That is definitely a rare. Ooh, fire trap it. Fire trap gem ready to level up. Might as well keep using it. How about them apples? That is efficient chitin. <laughs> it is cowardly awesome. Kill these unique bosses. Ooze back boom. Complete. Eh, Alright. Let's level up that fire gem. It goes three to five. Trap lasts thirty seconds. Three point two. That's actually Ow! Stop that. In the middle of talking, sir. Where are your manners? Twig Spirit Shield. Nobody cares about shields. Or at least I don't. I see you over there. The Roa Scavenger of Anger. I just punched it in the face. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and identify some of this stuff. I'll, I'll look at it again. Don't worry. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Shabble, shabby jerseys over there. Plus six evasion. Eh, it's not terrible, but I like my 12 energy shield. Uh, it's a shield, so nah. Uh, Pixie's chain. Oh, I bought these boots too from uh, from Targ uh, Targleaf. Targleaf. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Increased armor and energy shield. Increased rarity of items. You darn right. Uh, it's a staff we're not going to use. Yeah. Okay. I really feel like I should be able to stack this up a little bit better. There. That's only leaving one little gap. I can work with this. I can work. I can make this thing work. Ah! Alright, anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Ooh, there's a Rowan nest. I don't know what a Holotus Glyph is, but I'm gonna grab it because it's green, which means quest. Okay, gotta find gotta find a use for it now. Find a use for the glyph. Got it. Ow, ow, ow! Ow! I hear a sound. You hear that? It was like a woom woom. I want my arrow back. Another one there, too. This is pretty cool. I like how it does the arrows. Aha, I see an exclamation point on the map up there. Find the glyphs. Three strangely shaped objects. So i got to find a couple more of the... Um, submerged passage. So basically, that'll open up, I'm betting, when I find three of the three of the glyphs. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, we're gonna go do that. Nice! Level six. back over here. It looks like there's another thing there. But we're going to get our skill point first. More attack speed. Yes, please. Okay, see, that's that. So we need to go there. Maybe. How did I miss that before? Hmm. Hmm, whatever, moving on. Big old groups of zombies are fun. Mmm, easy experience. Black storms descend on us from the north, unnatural tempests of rage and hatred, lashing our backs, tearing at our houses. The rain is shot with shadow. It withers our crops, sickens our livestock. And the wind, the wind carries with it a restless spirit that breeds melancholy and madness, a spirit that creeps through our dreams, weaves tales of misdeed around our resting minds. We try not to listen. We try to remember ourselves. Some of us forget. Brothers fight. Brothers... Dang it. Sorry, he was starting to creep up on us. Oh, well. We'll make do. Basically, I'm getting the idea of what's going on there, though. Apparently, some bad things happen. Well, shenanigans. All right, take the glyphs to the whatever wall. Medium life flask, medium life flask. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, 
let's head over and do that, shall we? Oh! Was I supposed to go? I think I was doing... Haha, <laughs> I've been working two quests! Because somebody wasn't paying attention. That's okay. We're going to leave the eggs behind. We've got the stuff. We're going to the pool. Ooh, it's scary. up on death and need. Didn't matter. That's how we do things. We do things like that. Let's, uh, go by. Whoops. Whoop. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you. A 26 to maximum life adds. Whoa, that's actually pretty neat. Okay. So not that one. Bye, mana. We're gonna go this direction with it. Because basically what we just did, oh for pity's sake, what we did was swapped out 23 mana for 26 life, fire damage, and cast speed. I think that's a win. Oops, wrong button. Another reason why doing stuff like that's important, uh, by swapping out and getting us a little extra fire damage. I'm trying to. I don't want to get too invested in any one elemental group. For example, I got a whole bunch of cold stuff because of uh, the bow and the gloves, but I get lightning damage from the quiver, and now I got fire damage from this. So I want to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping my options open. Because you see, these guys all resisted cold. Necromancer and his minions. I guess there's a necromancer up here, is there? My mana is gone. Yes, yes. Oh wow, okay. I thought I was working on the Necromancer. Turns out there's a rare and the Necromancer. Keep resing the, uh, he keeps picking up dead people. Come here, you. I yeah, just about enough of you. Guys, seriously, stop it. That 
That guy was kind of a pain. He was never really, I was never really in danger, but he's a pain in the butt. All right, goat's horn. It's a magic wand. Well, the rest of the stuff's any good, but let's take a look at this guy. Where uh, we gotta, we gotta identify some stuff. Soul gnarl, the goat's horn. Increase spell damage. Level of fire. Dang. It's actually pretty cool. Doesn't do me the slightest bit of good, but it's pretty cool. So I'm no Dalid, but this one's got me beat. Oh, I don't have nearly the intelligence. Okay. Out of curiosity, does this match up to? Nope. So that's a shame. None of those were none of those were worthwhile. But that's okay. Not everything is going to be a win. What was that rugged quiver? Two to three cold damage or one to five lightning damage. I'll probably stick with the chance for more. At least for now. <laughs> oh, I forgot to wipe out the remaining monsters. Okay, so I gotta kill stuff. Would only slow me down. <laughs> All right, level seven. Still hear stuff wandering around. I'll I'll level up in a minute. Four monsters. One more. Oh come on! There's one more somewhere. Dang it! <laughs> I left one alive somewhere. Oh biscuits. here somewhere. No. Okay, moving on. I mean, he's just got to be around here somewhere. Can't be that far. Can he? Is this going to be really difficult? Is this going to be a pain in my butt? Might be. So where is he? Ah! Thank you. Biscuits. <laughs> well, I know nothing's alive in here, so... Talk to Tarkley. Killed the Necromancer. We're the best. And we get Ballistic Mastery. You darn right. Booyah! Ballistic Mastery. All right, level seven. Mm -mm -mm. Get the up. Big fan of that. Now the question is, where do we go from here? Do we want to go to bow damage? Are we going to go to... Oh, I think we have to. I think we're going to go bow damage and bow damage and then aspect. But then we may come back down and do the mana, primal spirit, mana, finesse. I don't know. I don't know. Once we get to aspect of the eagle, we will reallocate our thoughts, times, and everything else. Tell you what, I'm not going to have you watch while I run back and turn in the, the quest. Actually, you know what? We're going we're gonna to wait on turning that in. We are going to instead go turn in the, uh, go do the, the, the three, whatchama, whatchama, ow, 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 ow. We're going to stop jibber-jabbering. We're going to go turn in the, uh, those three runes and see where that takes us. We're going to do that first. 
because we're right here, you know? Ten minutes. Schmen minutes. Strange clip. The cave is open. Ooh, talk to Tarkley for my reward. Well, I'm glad I did that. Neat. All right, well, we'll I think we just basically bypassed a, a free quest. Regardless, let's go do that. Let's see, where's our... We gotta go this way, if I'm right. Anyway, I'm gonna run back to town. I'll meet you there. We're back in Lion Eyes. Let's talk to... We don't have room for much of anything, do we? Probably ought to sell off some of this stuff. We'll sell off some of this stuff first. So I tell you what, let's do that by going to Nessa Be to careful. make sure we don't turn uh, any of his stuff on. So, uh, let's do that. Okay, get rid of you. And... Ooh. No, because, yeah, I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna do the boots right you know. Mm, no. No. Nope. Nope. And then... Ooh, dang, that gives me a whole bunch of stuff. Done! Give me a whole bunch of stuff. Orbs of alteration. Fragments. Alteration shards. Alchemy shards. I got all sorts of goodies. Alright, let's go talk to uh let's go talk to the man, and get our reward. So, you opened the tidal passage and lived to tell the tale. Forgive me if I don't seem over the moon about it. I was running down a wounded Ra one night's eve, when I glimpsed something in the watery cave, behind the mists of the falls. Looked a bit like one of those sand spitters, with the size of a bloody ox. I reckon it will be nesting down in the flooded depth somewhere, below that submerged tunnel. If you're going that way then, do us a favor. Take this and go spill the old shield crab's guts, before it gets hungry and comes looking for us. Ooh, neat! Rewards! Rewards! I don't want a shield charge. I don't need double strike. Ice shot! Mmm! Oh, now that's interesting. That's kind of cool. We might come back to that. Poison arrow. Bear trap. Eh, I don't care. Wow. Deals a chunk of damage and then just locks him down. That's actually really handy, too. Ooh. Oh, there's options. Rain of arrows. Rain of arrows is pretty handy. Whirling blades. Eh. Viper strike is... Nope. Okay, so Ice Shot, which is... Hmm, see, because, I mean, we've got Split Arrow. <laughs> split Arrow, Poison Arrow. Oh, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Rain of Arrows. Rain of Arrows might be good. It might also be terrible. I just don't know. Um, boy, that is, that's tough, that's tough, that's tough. Hmm. I think we're going to go... <sighs> boy, that's tough. I think I'm not going to do that one. I think I am going to go with Rain of Arrows. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Rain of Arrows. A necromancer? We've got enough undead wandering around without someone raising more for us to deal with. Well, good to see you don't mind getting your hands filthy. Here, have this. To mark a dirty job well done. Hey, Buck! Two passive respect points. I've traveled inland, on the Emperor's Road via the Prisoner's Gate. Had to skirt around Axiom Prison. That's the whole farce of Brutus, the Warden. Bloody treacherous trip it was. Worth it. There's forest inland. Game, berries, fruit. More food than we can scrounge here. But most here wouldn't survive the journey. Would be a damn sight easier if we could pass through the prison. Tell you what. You carve us a path up the coast, 
Find us a way past or through Brutus, and you'll have more than a few lives owing to you. Ooh, neat. Oh, I can ask him about rowers. Rowers? <laughs> Overgrown chickens with a murderous streak. Easy enough to bring down, one by one, but just don't get surrounded by them. They'll tell in your guts out and snap you up like a big fat worm. If you get the chance, have a rifle through their nests. The bros are a bit like magpies. Got an eye for what shines. Hmm. All right. Well, passive respect points. I don't know how that works, so I'm going to look that up. I'm going to figure that out, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, but I think this is a good place to, to stop the episode. we got to go find the Emperor's Road. We're at a good stopping point. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it today. If you learned something new or just had a fun time, leave me a like and a subscribe if you want. I would certainly appreciate it. We'll be back with more Path of Exile. Red signing off for now. Take care, guys.